You know, many Consumer Lab members have asked us to test glutathione supplements. So we went out, purchased all these products, tested them, and I'm going to give you some key tips on what you need to know about glutathione. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman of Consumer Lab. First, glutathione is a very important antioxidant in your body, but your body does make it. And when you take it as a supplement, you end up digesting most of it and absorbing little. Having reviewed the literature, I'm not convinced that glutathione actually makes much of a difference for conditions where it's often tried, such as diabetes or skin lightening. Now, if you're still interested in taking glutathione, it is fairly safe, but here are a few tips to make sure you're getting the right stuff and not getting ripped off. Be very careful buying glutathione on Amazon from lesser known brands because one study that looked at such brands found that several had only 55 to about 80% of the glutathione they claimed. And even in our testing where we avoided all of those products, we still found one that only had 80% of what it claimed. Glutathione can be expensive, although you can spend as little as about 50 cents per a 500 milligram dose or over $2 for the same amount of glutathione. We did not find cost to be an indicator of quality. Don't feel that you need to spend more for products that claim to be L-glutathione or reduced glutathione because all glutathione in supplements is L-glutathione in the reduced form. Also, there's no convincing evidence that liposomal glutathione, which tends to be much more expensive, is any better at getting absorbed in the body. There's also no great evidence that the S-acetyl glutathione form is really any better than regular glutathione but it also tends to cost more. Among the products that pass our test, we selected our top picks based on quality and value. If you're one of more than 95,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online right now and see our report, which includes our top picks.